in the previous video we talked about some basic functions in MATLAB I explained how to use um, determinant, sine, cosine, logarithm and so many other functions but in this video I'm going to be solving one example maybe you are wondering how the question will look like how your assignments your homework your exams will look like so I have one question here with me so this is the question I have here with me so we are going to be doing this together once you are able to understand how to do this I don't think you can have any issues with um, using functions in MATLAB so let's get started first of all this is what we are given we're given a to be an array b is also an array c is also an array d is also an array so first thing we have to do is to declare all these arrays in MATLAB then after that we'll be able to find the determinants of matrix A and B and also find A determinant A, D transpose and also the inverse of matrix A. So let's get started. So let's declare our A. We have um, A to be 1092. So just write your A. Open your mouse lab and write A equal um, 1250 1250 I think we have 2111 and um, we have 0001 0001 enter so we declared our A this is our matrix A the nice thing is to declare B is our B one two three zero zero one? We have B to be one two three zero zero one 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 I think one minus two one minus two and one enter then we have C one two four zero five minus one C one two four zero five minus one enter. Now we have D to be one zero minus one three. One zero minus one three minus one three zero minus one two one zero minus one two one zero one one two zero one one and two enter. Now we've declared our matrix declared A, B, C and D. So we asked to find the determinants of matrix A and B. So let's first find the determinants of A. Just type DET and A. Enter. So the determinants of A is minus 30. Then determinants of B. Determinants of Is four so and means um, multiplication that means a times B so we already have the uh, determinants of a we have determinants of B so we want to multiply it 
first find determinant of a and find determinant of b then you multiply them together so you can simply rise um, let's try this let's see if this will work a and multiply by I'm not sure let's just give it a try B yeah it's what so we have determinant a multiplied by determinant B or you can actually find determinant a it is minus 30 then determinant of B is 4 then you can simply multiply both together minus 30 times 4 so you get your answer to be minus 120 so that's the first one so let's clear the screen clc enter the second one we have to find the um, a d transpose a d transpose so a times d transpose let's write a so we are we've already declared our a b our a is there then we need d Yes, so we, we need a multiplied by. No, I don't know this work. Let's see, uh, multiplied by d transpose. Yes, so this is what we have. We have a multiplied by. So the first thing that will be done is to find our d transpose then it will be multiplied by a so that's our answer and the last one is the inverse of matrix a just type i n v a enter so this is the inverse of uh, matrix a so these are the things you need you need to know so if you can understand this video then i don't think you can have any problem with function fun with using function in MATLAB so that's it for this video in the next video I'm going to be explaining how to import uh, how to import some files into MATLAB and how to plot graphs using MATLAB thank you guys for watching